Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Zwei the Argus Adventure. Alright, I spent a little bit of time just, you know, mostly grinding for money and food. Right now we're at level 4. And let's head back to Kaifest Forest. So we can actually get some stuff done there. Rather than just have to replay that part of the dungeon. You can just do that. Which obviously seems like the more desirable choice. See, there's the one for level 4. And level 8. Obviously we can't do 8 yet. Also, it took some time to get some more equipment, so I got a ribbon, work gloves, belly band, and socks on. And I used that time to clean up my inventory as well. So that being said, let's continue on. Oh, right, I need to put the push gloves back on, I think. Or push mittens. Path to Alter? What the hell? I'm freaking paralyzed out of the blue. Yeah, they're attacking on the other side of the gate. That's not fair. Was that you? No, I think there might have been two enemies that was doing that. I don't know what you can hope to do against somebody that casts magic like that. Especially lightning bolts. I don't know about you, but that's hardly a puzzle at all. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Luckily, I got a persimmon, but that's a... It's a bit valuable. Let's just eat the banana. Oh, a gate opened. Is it this one? Yes. Damage I take in such a short period of time now. I'm the right level to enter here. How am I still getting my ass handed to me? Jesus Christ, this is bad. Gotta see some mushrooms with X's on them. Can't do much with that. Okay, just go. Oh, did I just find some more garbage? I think I did. Yeah, it just seems even at level 4, these enemies just take way too many hits. Hey, you can't get away. Wow. It doesn't take much for you to get damage in this, that's for sure. And when it's lightning, something like hits you... Are you shitting me? I'm dead already? Well! That's something! And I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go.
You know what? Let's just abandon that for now. What areas did we not go to? I don't think, don't think we've been to Daphne Desert. Welcome to Reginevs! You two are our very first customers. Customers? Customer for what? Don't tell me you've actually opened up a shop here. Sure have. Ramsey's always throwing his weight around in town. So I figured I'd try me a different approach to getting customers. Change of venue. I call it the Bazaar in Argus. Bazaar? Oh yeah, guess that ain't a thing here. Where I'm from, they're all over the deserts. There are tiny marketplaces operating out of oases just like this one. Figured I'd try my luck making that concept work out here in Daphne. Then I'll show old Ramsey who the real businessman is. Does this one tiny space really count as a marketplace though? Or what do you have? You have dynamite. And so far that's it. Looks like there's some kind of building at the bottom of the lake. Someone tells me we can go there later. Hippolyta Hill, did I? I think this is where we rescued the dog, wasn't it? Yeah, remember that place? Superi R Labyrinth. Hey kids! Good to see you. My brother's telling me you set out on a quest to track down the stolen idol statues. Allow me to thank you in Paul's place. Oh, no, no, no. Thanks are necessary. Hey, no worries, man. Anyone can show a foul thief what for is a worthy little bro. All I can really offer is thanks, though, is permission to enter this labyrinth. Yeah, that brings up a question I've had for a while. What's in here, anyway? Superior Remote Labyrinth, Superior R for short. Named it myself. I usually charge an arm and a leg to get in. But for you, half off. Just an arm will do. Oh, so you're still going to charge us? Well, I gotta think of the operating expenses, you know? No monsters in the maze, I, I don't think. But there is a strange magic cast on it. If you don't hurry though, you'll be automatically transported back to the entrance. But traverse the maze efficiently, and you'll be able to snag something useful for sure. Wow! It actually sounds kind of fun. Sign me up, I guess. Oh man, we need a thousand penne just to do the easy course. What a ripoff. I'll just go elsewhere. I think we've been to the Holy Ground before and I had nothing special at the moment. Is there another area in the cave that I can go to now? Magic barrier. Huh. <coughs> so it looks like at the moment the answer is no. Like, really gonna have to grind? To actually gain levels? I mean, I already gained a level since the last episode, and now I gotta gain another one? Are you kidding me? That's kind of annoying. What levels can I access here? There's level 20. 29. It looks like a whole lot of nothing we can reach right now. Oh, there's level 6. Oh, this is level 4. Oh, but that's still a magic barrier. Oh, great. 
Yeah, it looks like the only place we can go is back here. This is quite frankly the only thing we can do. So if I get slaughtered, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to grind. Because this is not feasible if enemies are able to get you from the entire screen. And there's nothing you can do to fight back. Stop. He's already dead. You know, I think I'm gonna take any more of my money. Forget that. Well, gonna have to grind. Alright, we're gonna try this again now that I'm at level 5. So I'm one level higher than the recommended here. We'll see how much of a difference that'll make now. Well, it's absolutely caving them in. I'm not taking as much damage as I normally do. So it's a step in the right direction. That's basically what you gotta do in this game, unless you're really adept at dodging. Like, you gotta over-level as much as you can. It could end up trivializing a lot of the game, but honestly, it might be necessary. Oh, that's a dead end there. Somehow there was no ambush. I thought they were just gonna put one there. Can't do anything with that, I don't think. Alright, look around some more. Oh! There are some enemies there. Where did I just pick up? Oh, it's a lure? Well, how do you use it? I guess you can fish. Made by brick. It says, huh, neat. I mean, I got a lure, but I don't have a rod. And I don't think I can use it without a rod. Uh oh. Oh, tough enemy. Oh, it actively tries to get away from you. It's smart. Did we get it? I don't know if it dropped anything good. I didn't notice. Right, so I guess we're going north now. What enemy launches the lightning at you? Is it the green enemy? Could very well be. Oh. This is not good. the money we can't get. Okay, we're making progress now. Oh, that's blocked off. Can't go there. It's 
stealth enemies. The nastiest trick in the book. Hey, where are you guys going? No, you can't leave! I will not allow it! If you're gonna make our lives miserable, you might as well commit to the bit. Okay, I'm guessing these will do some nasty damage if I'm hit by them. Okay, there's one gap right there. I made it work. You didn't even show up on the minimap, what the hell? What a rudeness. I picked up a flower. Where would she offer this up? Hmm. I wonder what it does. Oh. Oh, great. It's one of those kinds of puzzles. I think you gotta get them all blue? Ah, uh, now I got all but one. Now I've seen these before in a lot of games. Okay, if you hit that, it just resets. Push like a pro. Can you push them the right way? I almost got them all wrong. This is a... this is terrible! This is not fun! Why is this here? All this does... is slow the game to an absolute crawl. When you got this kind of... Sh shitty-ass puzzle... that involves cranking levers... and that's all you do... For the majority of the game. And now I'm in another situation where I only have one activated. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have two other NPCs following me. Well, I mean, yeah, they're all my party members and one of them's a dog, but still. All this does is make it harder for me to get an idea on what I need to do. just makes it worse. I'm ready to quit this game. This is not getting any better. It's like, oh, just look up a guide. Like, there's hardly any guides of this game. The only ones I can think of that were there are like on this game's original release. When a lot of things were in Japanese. Fuck, <laughs> I hate this so much. I never liked these in any video game, and I sure as hell don't like them here either. Okay, well, that's for the bottom one, but now I gotta. I probably gotta do it again to get them all blue so I can go left. Imagine if I solve that puzzle, then I die in two hits. Then you gotta do it all again. Oh, honey statues. 
Oh, we got Flan. Even if what we wanted or not, we got it. I guess I'll have a cherry while I'm at it. Oh, is there a tough enemy here again? Okay, we got it. Did it drop anything? It somehow did not drop anything. That's the real danger. I'm not getting fulfilled in any way. I bet there's a treasure if you got all the levers blue. You know, forget it. Had to alter, so I guess that's where we offer the wind bloom. Oh, somehow the playthrough got saved. There better be a fountain where I can actually heal. There is. Oh, good. Caution! This is a pretty big space. Huh? There's someone else here. By the exit on the other side. Yeah! So the first seal is broken. If this keeps up, and we can use the idols to break the remaining seals. Yeah! It'll be perfect. Oh, cat villain. Yes! Who goes there? That's our line! Especially since you are just but the most suspicious thing I've ever seen. Since I can talk, I guess that means it's not a monster. So, does that make it... a cat? Hmm, I'm gonna turn that down, it's a bit loud. Oh, I can't hear anything because it's out of focus. That's offensive to cats everywhere! No cat could possibly be as fugly as this thing. I'm not a cat! You better feel honored because I'm gonna tell you my name. It's Colbert! Colbert the Sorcerer! Yes, that Colbert. In service to the Demon Lord Vesper. My name is Feared Farm Wide. Yeah, <laughs> cat got your tongue? Foolish humans. Are you ready to prostrate yourselves before me? I, I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> OMG, I am dying. I had no idea what to expect from a talking cat, but a demon lord's underling? And <laughs> prostate? I think I need air. This is just too good. Haha! <laughs> Piro, you, you shouldn't laugh that hard. You might hurt yourself. This um, person is just trying to break the ice with some absolute absurdity. And pff, it, it is pretty darn funny. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. He didn't just break the ice, he shattered it. Pockle, you should take notes. This um, guy is way funnier than you and your dumb puns. If you're gonna joke, this, this is how you do it. Gotta make sure it's got punch. I can see to the master. I could definitely learn a thing or two from this guy. You. Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Pockle. And I'm Papiro. It's nice to meet you, funny jokester cat. Don't you nice to meet you, me? You patronizing pus pits! I was gonna let this go, but since you're just children, but I changed me on my mind. Prepare yourselves for a drop into the deepest depths of despair. From the silence, I summon thee, for a giant, dark foot. Oh wow, we actually have a boss. 
Man, that's some impressive detailing. It almost looks real. Uh, Paco? I think we may have a problem here. What is it? That thing is real! She knew an article all the way for sure. That was a summon spell. And a pretty nasty one at that. What? <laughs> Too late to turn back now. Feel my react. Alright, we actually gotta fight this thing. Well, since I got supers, I might as well use them. I got lots of them. I think you pretty much just save them all for the boss. As long as I keep my distance, it can't really hurt me too much. Oh, it's a I'm all out. Oh god, just dropping bombs. Yeah, you really have to keep moving at all times. Or you're gonna be chain hit. Wait, can you not eat food during a boss fight? Oh. Oh! I was not prepared for that. Oh god, that dance is so annoying because it goes a long way. We lost. Continue from last save so we don't have to use up any of our money. Alright, do it. Can we skip the dialogue? I hope we can. Oh, you, you cannot skip this. Oh, no, that's... That's gonna be irritating. If you continue, what happens? No, you probably just end up at the house. Okay, I just noticed that its health bar is right there on the bottom left. Yeah, it's just gonna spam the dance now. Actually, let's, let's just switch to you. Because you have range on your attack. I don't know if you can damage that uh, red orb that orbits it. Stop using the Devastation Dance! Now I'm just gonna keep doing it. Wait, how did I gain 1 HP there?
It's not like I can heal. <sighs> Dead again. Well, it was closer at least. I'm gonna give this one more try, otherwise I'm just gonna have to give up on this playthrough. It, it's just not being fun. And what if the later puzzles are even worse? Just trial and error bullshit. Blah blah blah, do your thing. It's probably so much better if you were allowed to heal during boss fights. I don't know why you just can't. Yeah, I don't think that red crystal can even get destroyed. At least when it uses Yaksha Dance, I don't have to worry about the lasers. Let's just wait for the lasers to go away. Okay. It's got less than half its health left. I think we might actually win this. Focus on the boss, not the orb! You shitty auto-targeting? It's almost done. I think we might have a fighting chance. Fuck you! We win. Huh. Huh. What? What was that thing? Some kind of powerful beast summoned from another plane of existence. That dumbass cat's got more skill than I would have ex expected from something so... uncute. Not bad, you fuggy little bastard. I don't think cuteness has anything to do with skill. Of course it does. For a cat, anyway. Cuteness is a major part of any self-respecting cat's identity. Besides, our little floofball is one million times cuter. Aren't you, you precious little thing, you? Morph? Haha. <laughs> but the question remains, what are we dealing with here? You don't think it really is an underling to a demon lord, do you? Demon lords don't exist. They're made up to scare children. This is all some sort of elaborate bluff. But who cares about any of that right now? Let's just see what's behind door number one. Kitty McJerkass seemed like he was doing something back there. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's go check it out. Uh, we should... I was gonna go save. Couldn't let me do it. Ah! Is this... It is! It's one of the stolen idols! Lady Luck is smiling on us today! Luck has nothing to do with it. There's obviously a reason this is here. The question is, what is it? Why wouldn't the masked man still have this in his possession? Who cares? Be a man and act on impulse. No sense sweating the details. I'll be taking this earth idol now, thanks. 
Hmm. What? What's wrong with you? You're harshing my buzz. We went on a big adventure to get these back, and now we got one. So be happy, damn it! Yeah, maybe you're right. We should drop by the village and let them know. We may have only found one idol so far, but that is still a success. Sounds like a plan to me. I mean, I'm also pretty tired, so I could use a breather. A nice nap in my comfy bed sounds like heaven right now. Oh, imagine if we didn't have any of those, uh, wings. We would have had to do all this backtracking manually. Oh, we have to warp to the entrance to get out, huh? That's right. Oh, what am I doing? I have to go here to get out. Alright, back to the village. Let's see if we can drop off some food. Ten octopus balls. Oh, but we don't have ten of everything else. That's a damn shame. Still only level 5, too. Maybe we gotta go home to rest. Let's turn in for the night, yeah. Uh, since we don't have anything else to drop off... How much flan do I have? One, two, three... Seven. I'm almost full on cherries, too. I only have five lotus roots in there and one here. That can also go in the chest, I suppose. Still haven't found where to offer up the wind bloom. Hopefully we can find out where soon. Give me that persimmon. Since we got the statue, we should probably head over to the temple now. Let's just get that out of the way. Is that really something we can do? Let's find out. I guess we can give it a try. Okay, I'm pretty sure we heard that before. Light idol. Put the earth idol on the pedestal. The earth idol is enshrined here. Seems well grounded. Oh yeah, we're not gonna deal with the labyrinth because it's expensive. Should we go to the church to report it? Oh god, you can actually herd these uh these animals. No problems at all, it's good to hear. It is a big deal. And, do you have anything new to sell? Look, don't we already have these? Why would I need to buy another one? I got them put in the vault, I think.
Is there anything here that's level 5? Level 20. 29. Level 6. Which we can't do anything with because we don't have the right element. Level 4. Oh, I don't have any wings. I I'm gonna need some. Get three. So let's take the time to save our game. Okay, so I want to test something. If we go back to the wind altar... Was there a place to offer what I had? Screenshot taken? I don't want to take a screenshot. I wanted to use the item on F12. Let me put it on F8 then. Does this wind bloom not do anything? I don't think it does. Hold on, let me put up my text file. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go to the lake next. I go back to title. So I can reload to before I use that up. I had like a text file, like what I found on GameFAQs, what's the recommended order, because a lot of this can be very confusing. I think we gotta go see the mayor. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, that's totally my lure. Oh, right, we found this. Oh, it is? We found it in Caiaphas Woods, but yeah, if it's yours, here you go. Thank you! I use this lure all the time when I'm fishing. It's my favorite. It got caught on something when I was in the forest, though, and I didn't notice. Looked all over for it, but couldn't find it anywhere. Glad we could help, then. Me too. Here, in exchange for finding my favorite lure, I think it's only fair I give you this. A hook rope? Wow, that's awfully mature for someone you're, uh... What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of rope? Not just any rope. It's got a hook on the end of it. So you can snag distant objects. And if the object is sturdy enough, you can even pull yourself across chasms with it. I've used it a few times now to find secret fishing spots I normally couldn't normally get to. Huh. Well, that is pretty cool. Thanks. That's actually really nice of you. Alright, so now we can use it to get to new areas. According to this, you gotta go to... the second part of IFS Woods. Is this something you gotta have in the inventory? It looks like you do. So 
So, gotta go here, maybe? Oh, that's level eight. That's level four there. Oh, right, I think it's this way. The Fairy Passage. We have not been here. Oh, it's goddamn buttons again. Well, at least it's only one at a time. And not nine levers. Oh, jeez. So they got magic barriers now. of traps. Thought that would be enough. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Don't know if that was worth it. Wait, we got something. Meat dumplings? At least we can find nine more of them. Oh god. I had to walk through like a bunch of pathways. They're very narrow, mind you. Okay, at least they are quite easy. Aha! I don't know if this is mandatory, but at least we found a passage. Okay, that's the way out. But it looks like there was more I could have checked out. So let's just do that now. Uh, maybe if I can take one more hit, I'll then use the cuttlefish. I wonder if there were other places at those secret passages as well. There's probably so much I missed in previous areas. She's dropped a bomb on me. Okay, I think that's enough with this section. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to spend an awful lot of time farming for levels before I even think I'm strong enough to deal with this. I don't know why I haven't even bothered to do that. Mostly because a lot of the areas I've been to don't really offer a lot. And you don't always get food every run. So it just becomes more of a chore than anything else. Smash the funeral dolls, because it's not going to be our funeral. I promise you that. Not yet, at least. Imagine you have to do this without a mini-map. Alright, keep it locked in place. It's not always working. Mostly just finding random crap. Like, I don't hate this game. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of things about it that feels so awkward 
that it doesn't become enjoyable to play. Like, sometimes you're just going around, going through the motions to do combat, and then next thing you know, you're a critical help, because you had no idea at the time. Like, it's not very responsive to the amount of feedback I'm getting. I should let those explosions go. Okay, that's the way out. What else is over here? I... Is the gate closed? Because I... Just let the explosions happen? Was I supposed to outrun it? I bet I was. So then it keeps the gate locked regardless. Okay, that's just gonna loop back. So that way down there is probably just for treasure. about that now. Just get rid of them. Supplies are running low. Does it go left? I guess we'll go left. over this way. Oh. Oh, okay. Just spamming lightning bolts. I'm gonna have to eat again. What a rough go. Like, it looked cool when I saw it on Steam. Like, just a bunch of images and stuff. But then actually playing it feels like a whole other story. What's this? The Sylvan Woods? Where are we? Something about this place seems... off. Yeah. Hold up for a sec, Pockle. I feel a strange presence coming this way. I swear. That child is always getting herself in trouble and pulling us right in with her. The heck was that? Not... human being, that's for sure. It looked like a fairy to me. The ones you read about in books. Do you think he was one, Papiro? Like, could it be? Hmm. How about we chase it down and ask it ourselves? Alright. It's my kind of plan. Let's go. That's right. I don't think she could have gone far, though. I see. Keep telling her it's not safe outside the village. There are monsters. You should tell her too, Elder. She listened to you. Haha, <laughs> Ale. Try to think back to your own childhood. Everyone falls in love with the outside world for a time when they reach her age. Well, yes, that's true. But nonetheless, it's reckless behavior. Fine, fine. When she gets back, tell her to come see me. I'll do what I can. Just don't scold her too much. She's only curious. I won't. Hmm? Well, well. Seems we have some most unusual visitors. G humans? Uh, hello. 
Hello, and welcome. How in the world did you get here? We were exploring the forest and just happened to wander into your village, I guess. At least I assume that's what this place is. That's correct. We are the Wind Sprites, known as the Sylphs. And this is our village. Damn! So you really are fairies then, huh? Mama used to tell me all about fairies when I was a little girl. But I always assumed they were just made up stories. Like all that nonsense about paradise. Yeah. Kind of speechless, actually. I had no idea you guys were real. And paradise is real too, damn it. You just had to sneak that in there, didn't you? Whatever you say, you just keep telling yourself that. My name is Impulf. I serve as village elder. And this is Eel. Uh, hi. I'm Poggle. And my name is Papiro. Pleased to meet you. Haha. <laughs> Likewise. So what brings you two into this forest in the first place? We're searching for six idol statues. Idol... statues? That's right. They're our village's treasures. But they were stolen from their pedestals by an unknown man. I see. That's most unfortunate. But when you say an unknown man, I presume you mean... another human? I'm afraid I can't be of any help to you at all there. How about you, Eel? No, not me either. That's okay. I wouldn't expect you to. I am impressed, though, that two young children would go on a quest to recover these idols. That's quite a noble undertaking. Best of luck to you. Here's hoping you find them. Thanks. We'll keep on looking. We sure will. For new clothing, and more generally, for the money! I, Pipiro, do hereby swear it. It truly has been ages since we last had a human visitor. Oh, humans used to come here? Yes, but not for several hundred years. Several hundred years? Have you been alive that whole time? <laughs> I sure have. And back then, humans and sprites still lived together. Wow, I didn't even know that it ever happened. It sure did, and it may just be fate that you're here now. We don't have much to offer, but please make, your, make yourselves at home while you're here. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're a lifesaver. Wandering aimlessly through the forest has worn us down. I must ask, during your travels in the woods, did you see any others of our kind? No? You're definitely the first. I'm sorry to hear that. One of our own has fled the village, you see. A child. If you should come across her, please tell her to come home right away. We're very worried. Oh, absolutely. We'll keep an eye out for sure. Okay, that's just the way back out. What else is here? Well, there's a place to save. Pretty shallow water, okay. Is there anything else here of value? Maybe on the other side of this bridge? Oh, there's a shop! Oh, but these are so expensive. Oh, wow, I just know we have a lot of money. That means we could buy new equipment. Alright, before we do that... Didn't I see another entrance? I think it was over that way. Let's just finish this off first. Oh man, I almost regret it not saving. I really should have. <laughs> oh, just another one of these again. Just 
There's a bunch of octopus balls. Hang on, is the only entrance just the the village itself? Also, we're finding some bananas. These are really good for experience. We just haven't reached a point where they're just regular drops. Go for the overkill. Yeah, yeah. Alright, this video has been going on a little too long. If I can find another save point, I'm taking it. I was just hoping we can reach a new area so I can use it as a better grinding spot. Yeah, maybe there's nothing else here. Maybe the only exit is to the Sylvan Village. Looks that way to me. I don't see anywhere else to go. Let's just look around just a bit longer. Nope, there's nothing that takes you up. That's it. What do you mean you gotta hit the button again? Also, why are we even doing this? We we got these. Is there anywhere else we can go? Since we have that hook thing. can't go there. Was it beyond this way? Oh, that's all ten. I'm sure that's three. We already did three. I wonder if we gotta go back to level zero. Because don't we gotta look for that fairy? Also, wasn't there anything for level 5 here? Maybe not here, here. But actually farther on. How many of those wings do I have? I still have two. Is there really no other entrance I can take right now? I guess no. Uh, midpoint of Pavel Gardens. Can't do anything with these. Lock with the water key. Yeah, we don't have it. So that was a waste. Alright, back to the village we go. Honestly, I think it's a good time to end it here. Since I got a lot of money, I can... Ah, oh, damn it. I can make good use of it. But let's see what we got here. Ten of nothing. Alright, let's just save and stop here, because this is going way too long. I lost track of time. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can keep going for another while longer. The game hasn't gotten me to quit just yet. See you later.